Okay, good morning guys. So I know that this is not how you are necessarily used to seeing me, but hopefully you'll be seeing me like this a lot more because I just bought a camera specifically for vlogging and here it is. So excited, it's a G7X so that that way I can easily take it with me to sessions and around with all of the things that I'm doing and then I got this cool tripod so that way I can like bend and you know. When I was going back and looking at my YouTube videos from the past year, which I can't believe it's been over a year since I started the channel, I realized that most of my most watched videos are all personal me traveling, which I'm not doing that right now, but hopefully we'll be doing later this year or just like showing you guys what my weekends look like, what it looks like to shoot and do all of those things. So I decided that I'm gonna start doing personal vlogging a lot more and it's gonna be great for me because I'll have like an archive of all basically home videos. I'm also excited because I want to practice taking you guys a little bit more into like the real side of my life. So that looks like no makeup, hair not done, straight up out of bed. I did get dressed this morning so that that way I could clean my room and look somewhat presentable for you guys. But yeah, I'll just take you through what a typical day looks like and then if you guys end up liking these videos I'll do more if you're not huge fans of them I'll probably still do some because like I said part of this is for myself but it should be fun okay so as I throw my breakfast together I always eat Greek yogurt in the morning or at least I try to so that way I can have some protein in the morning and fun fact I'm a super breakfast person and a super banana person even though I dropped these on the ground yesterday so that's why it looks so bruised. <laughs> so anyways on today's to-do list I have to blog a session from this weekend. Um, I had a couple whose wedding date was rescheduled because of COVID-19 so we met up at Early Gardens and we just did a couple of photos to celebrate the original day that they were supposed to get married. They came to town for the weekend and like had a little getaway which was super cute. So I need to blog those and send those to them. I also wanted to get some filming done since after this week things are going to start to like really kick into gear um, and now that I've had to been able to reschedule everything that Okay, wow, this is lots of multitasking. <laughs> because I had to reschedule everything and now I can start shooting again. So I'll take you go behind the scenes of filming. What else do I need to do? Oh, I need to go for a run. I worked out yesterday, but today is a running day, so I'm gonna do that. And then I have my first um, shipment of HelloFresh coming in today that I'm so excited about. I've been trying to learn how to cook. I've been doing a lot better. So I'm really proud of myself for that. And I asked Kyle if he wanted to do dinner together. So we may be going over there to his house to do dinner. Yeah, so it's gonna be like a pretty, a pretty packed day. Looks pretty good. I'm set up with my breakfast, working on some emails. This is my second screen that I most of the time just use for <laughs> watching Netflix. Here we go, this is like office admin part of the day. Okay, so let's talk about blogging because if you follow me, then you know that it's hugely important to me and I'm a huge advocate for any and all business owners, especially photographers, to be blogging, whether that's for the purpose of marketing or just to have a portfolio online or to document your progress for just like your personal growth. I'm really big on that. But yeah, so I am blogging right now. I'll show you. I'm blogging Caitlin and John's session. So I use Blogstomp to do this. And then I also make sure that I blog every session before or while I deliver their galleries to them so that that way they are able to share them with everybody and then they have the excitement of the blog and then also getting all of their photos. So I take all of my edited photos, dump them in here, and then I'm gonna go through these and pair my favorite ones and then throw it into WordPress, write a quick little story, and then I'm done. It doesn't have to be hard, guys. Other weird things that are just photographer things. When I'm pairing the images, I do try to make sure, oop, I lost my mouse. I try to make sure that I'm pairing two images that 
have some type of difference between the two of them so it doesn't look like the same photo and then the same photo closer. So this photo, it was actually taken probably like t five minutes apart, but they have a different pose. I like this one because it's far away and then this one is close up and the composition, the way that like these lines lead and I just like the way it fills the space. It's not just throwing photos together. There's a lot of design elements, but this is also what helps when I am working on albums too. It's definitely something that takes a lot of practice and figuring out like what exactly your style is going to be, whether you're a photographer or just somebody who wants to have a blog and wants to have images on that blog. But it's also, you know, with practice comes perfection, comes it being better. <laughs> P.S. Side note, they chose to go to Early Gardens for this little session and it's, I'm just like so obsessed with it. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it's so, the Spanish moss, like, I literally can't, it's so freaking cute. Okay, blog is published and I sent it to them and then also the Facebook is published and then now I've got to get on Instagram and publish their Instagram post. I use plan with two ends to plan out what my Instagram grid is going to look like and be able to shift and move pictures around, which is pretty cool. Okay, look what just arrived. I got some daily harvest. And then I also got my first package of HelloFresh. My mom actually had these at her house when I was there for Mother's Day and it was so nice to just be able to open up the fridge and be like, I'm hungry and then see um, like a little packet of food. Okay, how fun. I get to do a little unboxing video for you guys. So starting off with my HelloFresh box, we got some Monterey Jack burgers that I'm really excited about. And then we also got these pork chops with like asparagus and some um, mashed potatoes. And then this kind of concerned me because I thought that, I, this is not what I ordered, but it looks like the actual food is still in here. So we got black bean and plebano flutas. I don't know, it's, I don't know. Kyle looked at it, he was like, I want that. So that's what I picked. But I just love because when you're hungry or you're ready for dinner or lunch or whatever you're gonna do, you just pull them out and all of the ingredients are in there ready to go. Um, I guess this came free. That's kind of fun. Okay, let me put these away and then I'll show you my Daily Harvest stuff. So I found out about Daily Harvest from, I don't know, all of the millions of podcasts that I listen to and they're, they're, they're working overtime on their marketing. But my mom had these out in the house and she, my mom apparently is just the one who's got all of these meal prep things under control. But she gave me a couple of her cups because she got the 24 per month option, which is also what I got. And she just didn't want to eat them all. So she let them, let me have some of them so that I could test, taste them. And I love them because they're like little cups. Here, I'll open and then explain. So I love them because they're like little cups that this is a smoothie one, like a little breakfast bowl. Then you have these bowls that are, you just basically dump them in a pan and saute them with some bone broth or some water. And then I like to put a fried egg on top of them to add some extra protein. Then you mix it all together and it's like a super healthy filling meal that takes you like 10 minutes to prepare. Now I have, so many of these, I'm gonna keep some of them at my house and then keep some of them at Kyle's because I always seem to be there when it's like two o'clock and neither one of us is eaten and we just need something now and we don't want to go get Bojangles. So this is gonna be a really good option. By the way, of the ones that I've had so far, this millet, cauliflower, spinach, sataki, one is my favorite, because, or is one of my favorites because it tastes like grits or it has the consistency of grits. And then also the broccoli cauliflower sweet potato because it it's like broccoli and ches. Ches? Um, and yeah, it tastes kind of like broccoli and cheese and I love sweet potato with like literally every meal. Okay, so this day didn't quite go as I had planned, mainly because the blogging took some time because I kept getting distracted with like other things that need to get done. But I got that out the door. Um, I had like a quick little catch up with my roommate 
unpacked all of the HelloFresh stuff. And so now it is uh, about three o'clock and I am gonna get ready. Okay, hair is done. Doesn't look quite as so like a curly crazy mess, but it's so funny when it comes to makeup because I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Like when other people say they don't know what they're doing and they actually do know what they're doing I like really don't know what I'm doing I ask my seniors all the time to help me because they're all essentially professional makeup artists And I really only ever do my makeup if I'm going out which I haven't in three months and if I'm filming which I have mastered the art of being able to get makeup for filming days and it'd be good so all of that to say probably don't ask me for a makeup tutorial. <laughs> I feel like vloggers always end up somewhere having to do makeup tutorials and um, I can promise you that you will not be interested in seeing what this girl has going on. Also, I'm currently watching Sue Magnolias. It's super cute. It's got Jamie Lynn Spears in it and then also Cheyenne from Reva, which are just two blast from the past that I'm super excited to have brought back into my life and so far it's like you know just like a classic Netflix original feel good doesn't have a whole lot of substance to it but it's still kind of cute and you want to spend time watching it I am known for watching Netflix com content about you know the day that it comes out because obviously like I watch Netflix while I'm working and do my makeup and all of the other things so so far recommend voila I'm done and filming ready and so now I have to transform this room into something that looks professional and is worth putting on YouTube so I know that I've gotten questions from other photographers or other creatives that are looking to implement video into their marketing and their content which I think is like 100% such a good idea if you can do it and keep up with it so since it's filming day and I've been showing you kind of what like all the beside behind the scenes of a work day looks like then I'll just walk you really through quickly through my video vlogging setup and then if you guys have more questions about that then I can do a full video on that later but to start off as you can tell the, vi the lighting and the coloring in the vlog so far has probably been really off because we have natural light coming in through the window and then also this light up here. Typically, I try to film when it is much brighter outside, so then that way I don't have to, it won't be so dark when this is turned off because I don't usually have this light on. And I set up these lights right here, which come in this little bag, and then I'll show you what they look like when they are open and set up. Okay, well, lights are set up. This is what they look like. Went to set up the rest of my setup, and I left my cameras at Kyle's. So, y'all, it is so humid. <laughs> I'm like, I just did all my hair and um, who knows if it's even gonna be able to hold up. But Kyle's house literally is like less than half a mile away from mine. So this is just a quick, quick detour. And we're back. It was a quick trip. I was gonna say hey to Kyle or have you guys say hey to Kyle, but he was working and you'll get to see him tonight when we do our HelloFresh meal. So now my hair is sufficiently frizzy it's almost five o'clock. I'm running out of light and motivation, but I got a camera. We're going to finish up the rest of the setup and fix my hair so that I don't look like a humid mess. Okay, here's the setup. We've got both lights and then my EOS R, which we'll see. Oh, <laughs> look at that. It's like Inception camera on camera recording action. Also, keeping it comfy because you know that's how we roll around here um i also have my lav mic which is a relatively inexpensive one so i plug it in it's got all this mess down here i turn it on right there and then it just snakes up so then it comes in right here i'm doing a senior video and then two wedding related videos today uh hopefully before you know it's like so rainy outside and gross i hate it <laughs> so curling iron is on and let's film all right first video down I'm gonna change to the next one the video that I just did was for my seniors I do all of my scripts for my videos because I'm a rambler and then this helps because this ends up being the blog post all right 
on to video number two. I know what y'all really need is a, is a video compilation of me trying to get <laughs> my freaking lav mic in because it's so ridiculous to put on every time. It never works with, oh, oh, is that, is that the look? Inst, inst, inst. Video number two is done and I can unclip myself from my contraption and change shirt, shirts, wow, and change shirts for a, I don't know if I know how to say that word, change shirts for the third time and wrap up this very last video. Yeah, and then I'll have basically, with this video today, I'll have basically a month's worth of content left. I just, I can't speak today. Also, I'm in, I'm in like a really weird, goofy, that's what Kyle calls it, it's a goofy moon. So um, hopefully this will be fun for you to watch. All right, this is the third outfit. I don't normally do off the shoulder for videos, but we're gonna try it today. I also wanted to point out that I think that my neighbors probably think that I'm a nutso because can you imagine like looking in like seeing inside and then like seeing this set up. Like, who does this girl think she is? Okay, I did it, I'm done. I'm ready for a nap, I'm so tired. This little thing is hanging. Three videos done. It is six, almost 6.45, so I think I started getting ready at three. This whole process took almost three hours and 45 minutes. Yeah, it's a solid amount of work. <laughs> And that's just with getting ready and making sure that my room is clean and setting the lights up and then having to go to Kyle's and get the camera because I forgot it. But now I'm probably looking at like an hour or so worth of editing for each one of those videos and then I'll have a video for every week. It is definitely a lot of work and planning with having to write out all of the scripts and then do the actual filming, edit, do the blog post, the IGTV video with the captions. Like I obviously put a lot of time into it, but I have seen so much return and I think people really like him. I think it's really helpful. I've gotten feedback from brides that they like to listen and I know that the seniors are listening because their senior sessions are getting a lot better and more fun for me and we're, you know, we're not running into like mistakes or things that they didn't know. So that's pretty cool. But if you're somebody who wants to learn a little bit more about video and incorporating that into your business, I've gotten some questions. If I keep getting those questions, I will post more content about it and I'm happy to help. So now is the time to break, ooh, so bright. Now is the time to break all of this down. Obviously not going running today because it's pouring outside. It's just gonna be one of those days, so I'll have to get that run in a different day. And I'm gonna get dressed and go to Kyle's so that that way I can cook my HelloFresh meals. Plot twist, I was planning on cooking HelloFresh tonight, which would have been fun since you guys saw me unbox it earlier, but Kyle has decided that he is tired. And honestly, so am I, it's already eight o'clock, which we don't normally eat until like, we don't start thinking about eating until eight o'clock, which is why the whole like restaurants closing at eight o'clock and grocery stores, oh, I liked, grocery stores closing at eight o'clock really has been difficult for us, <laughs> unforeseen difficulty. So we've decided that we're gonna do takeout instead and I'm gonna go pick him up so that we can go pick our food up because I am starving. Also, a very important part of my day, here, I'll turn it down so you can hear me, a very important part of my day is listening to the morning toast. If you like pop culture and you're not following these two girls, you're missing out. I'm like, I'm such a toaster. Wow. Switching it up. I have a chauffeur. I, it's so dark. It is dark. Now it's red. Good for the last three months. It's okay. Are you hangry right now? I'm a little hangry, yes. I'm sensing that. He's a little hangry. That's okay though. That's okay. Because we're getting food. Get food. Alright, he's happy now. <laughs> the hangry has gone away. The hangry, well not yet because you haven't eaten. We get the Caesar salad and this banana pudding. <laughs> And then the grand reveal, it's pork chops, Ooh, it's sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. I was expecting regular mashed potatoes. I don't know if I can get on board, but I'm sure I will once I start eating. Why is there so much food in here? <laughs> He's so happy. All of this for $25.
Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Like what? It's amazing. We're signing off for date night. It's gonna be great. And that's my first day with me vlog. And we're done. Are you so proud? Are you excited for this venture? And excited for this venture. And excited for this venture. <laughs> he can't wait. Okay, goodbye.